coming from the definition of true risk and empirical risk, we discussed in the last video that the approximation of the risk using only available data comes with potential difficulties. The example of your dataset only containing brown dogs, white cats and blackbirds will most likely lead to a model that does not perform well on future data. In other words, we could say that our trained model is not able to generalize well to unseen data. This difference of true risk and empirical risk is also called the generalization error. The idea is as simple as it was described in the example. Ideally, we want to find the perfect model which is not only able to predict our available data perfectly, but also any imaginable new data point. If that is the case, then our model perfectly generalizes the knowledge learned from our dataset and has a perfect understanding of how your task works. Now, that was a lot of perfect. The theoretical concept of the generalization error, once again, requires us to have access to all possible future data to compute it correctly. This, of course, will not be possible in any real-world application. Therefore, we typically want to take a subset of our available data and not use it during the training process. This subset simulates our future unseen data and will be used to approximate this generalization error. There is a lot more thought behind splitting your dataset into subsets, but this will not be covered here. You will learn more details about dataset splitting in the next module. The important takeaway from this video is that a model that works perfectly fine on your available dataset might not be a good model in the end, as it might end up having a large generalization error on unseen data. And this obviously is something that we want to avoid. In the theory behind machine learning, there is also quite some research on how to bound the generalization error. An example is the PAC framework. PAC stands for probably approximately correct, and the idea behind this framework is that we want to find a function that, with a high probability, will have a low generalization error, which is the approximately correct part. As this concept goes quite into theory of machine learning, I will provide some detailed information and references in the script below, and if you are interested, I encourage you to read up more on this topic.